Hi, I'd like to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Flipgrid.com, which is my current favorite tech tool. So I've logged into Flipgrid.com. You have to register for a free account. Um, so if you take a look, um, the dashboard just kind of gives you an overview of stats, um, responses, just kind of an overview summary. Um, we're going to go to My Grids, and this is where you will see a list of all the grids you have. If you think about what a grid is, it's like um, one grid for one subject that you teach. So if you teach math and English, you would probably have a grid for math and then a grid for English. So if you want to make a new grid for your first class, click New Grid. And then if you want to give it a name, which is you know makes sense to be your maybe your class name, um, <clears throat> Okay, um, and then you have some options down here as far as if you want it to be password protected, if social share links, if you, people can do that. These are all, all things you can look through. If you want to moderate responses before they go public, you can do that. Okay, so check out these features, um, kind of customize it to what you wanted to do. Down below, you can have a specific cover photo, um, either the ones that they provided for you, or you can upload your own. Okay. So we'll just pick pick one here. Okay, so I'm going to look it over, looks good, and so now I'm going to create a grid. Alright, so now we have our grid or our class um, area, so now we just need to start doing new topics, which would be like the tasks or the assignments that you give your students. Okay, um, so a couple of things before we get going here with new topics. If you want to give the student this code right here, that'll get them to this grid. So then whenever you do a new topic, they will see it and be able to access it right away. Okay, so this is a code that you would share with your students. Now let's go back into edit the grid real quick because <clears throat> this is a nice feature that you might want to take advantage of. For that grid code, you can actually customize it to say what you want it to say. It doesn't have to be just this random sequence of numbers and letters, you can customize that um, to something that's easier to remember or share. Okay, so just something to know there. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to create our first topic. And to do that, we're going to go to a new topic. Um, and we're just going to do something general. Maybe we're starting off a unit about World War II, just to see what they know. You can do response time up to five different options. Um, you can have a, a video that kind of introduces them to the topic that you record yourself. And this is where you would explain again what to do uh, via text. You can get more specific, um, multi-layer instruction, whatever you want to do. You do have a word or a character count though. Um, the date, make it active. If you want them to require to share their email before they can respond, you can do that. Um, allow them to respond to each other. Okay, so look over those options and create it as you see fit. But then when you're ready, go create topic. And so at this point, Flipgrid gives you, once again, the link to the, the whole grid. And then also just to the specific topic you just created, if you just want them to have this specific topic. So this again is customizable if you'd like to make it something easy to remember, not just random numbers and letters. Okay, so here's our topic. What do you know about World War II? And we have no responses at the moment. So to see what this looks like as the student, so when you give the student this link, what does it look like? Well, let's check that out. So the student clicks the link and they will come to the page that looks like this. Okay, so you can see that the, that the beginnings of a grid is forming. Um, title, the task. If you do a video intro, it'd be right in this area. But the student will just click add a response. And they would do their video. Post it and then it'll pop up on there. Okay, so let's go take a look at some examples of other grids that are actually filled in. So here's a 
here's a grid for uh, one of my classes. We'll go to the United States president. So I set it up with a video intro of my daughter explaining what to do, sort of, the instructions, and then here are all the responses. So let's take a look at the grid as the student sees it. So here's the, how the student sees it. You can see that um, all of these students have posted something. Um, if you click on a video, you can watch it, and then you can also reply via video, as you can see one student has already done there. So you can reply to each other with video, um, which again gets it a little bit more real time because it's you know face to face sort of, not just reading text responses. Okay. So that's a little bit on Flipgrid. I strongly encourage you to check it out. Um, everybody gets one free grid. And so if you want more grids, like I have lots of grids, you'll have to bump up to a paid subscription. But amazing tool, lots of uses, and I encourage you to check it out and um, see how it goes. Thank you.